Hello everyone, and welcome back to, uh, my YouTube channel. Um, that's just a generic thing all YouTubers say, I don't, I don't know why we say that, but, um, yeah, welcome back to the channel. We're playing Jurassic World, the game. Um, some things have changed since last time I made a video about it. Uh, we have some tournament dinosaurs, which we bought from solid gold packs we also forgot to get food um, also we have quite a few lagoon creatures include oh that's not what I meant to click on but whatever free rewards and this the the high level plesio sword Apparently we got a badge of some kind. Let's see. Alright. So we're gonna get try to get right into the battles. There's just so much going on. Even though I already did like half the stuff we normally do in the beginning. See I was just playing just because I play this off camera too. And then I saw the amount of battle events and I was like we need a video. We need to do a video. So yeah. Um Yikes. Okay. We don't have a ramp for Rinkus, so that we're gonna have to do it because I don't know when I'm never gonna see that opportunity again. Um, so this is why we need more pterosaurs. <laughs> this right here. Um, good lord. I don't know. I'm trying to lowball it. Uh, I think. I think that's what's gonna have to do it. I think what we probably should do is see what the fights have to offer and then level up the creatures. Because I have, I have a theory. Hang on. So, so my theory is that the, so the battles are. Uh, based off of your ferocity when you load them in. So if I level up all my pterosaurs, this would be harder because it's based off your average creature strength. Which is why I'm trying to keep as many low level trash creatures because it lowers my average ferocity. Which makes about as easy. Which is a bit difficult because we do have three tournament creatures which can kill a lot of dinosaurs really quickly. Um, I feel like in real life we'd win because we have like... I forgot what we had. Well, we're going to be really belligerent and go to this fours, like... Oh, and we killed him. So yeah, we're just gonna keep attacking. He's probably gonna kill us this time. Hopefully he goes for four, because if he goes for anything else, we might be screwed. Um, so the reason I think we're winning the off is because we have a bunch of giant pterosaurs and then only one other big creature that could actually put up a decent fight. I don't know if we can survive too much. Yeah, we can. Okay. Brilliant. Alright. Okay. There we go. That was a ton of damage. And we won. Despite the odds. I... 
probably because we have our best terror so far. There are a ton of... Well, I don't have a ton of great ones. But I probably should level them up more. It's not the highest demand for her Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. Now that we know what that is, we're gonna level up the Jang Doctor. So now it's significantly more powerful than it would have been. But the fight is still the same, so we, we are just loaded in the same difficulty, if that makes sense. However, the next fight will be a bit more difficult than it would have been if hadn't I just done that. But that's not going to matter. Because we'll load that in and level up a bunch of terrorists. I think we're literally just gonna have to go with So the reason I change it out is so we have the increasing amount of attack because Aerial Titan has more like Strapia Tropico Nanthus or how we I honestly don't know how you just pronounce some of these names. So he has to go for, he's going to go for Fallen 3 to kill me. Which he does, which is interesting. Yeah, I don't know if we I don't know if we have a solid chance at winning. I know you're supposed to always root for yourself, but... I don't think Zajangakos is going to be able to take down this entire team. If he goes for 6, that's great. Okay, yeah. So he's wasted his turn. Well, not really wasted. He's actually done quite a good job taking down all of our creatures. But, 1, 2, 3, he's dead. 1, 2. You just to be safe. I don't think we would have won this one in real life because, yeah, that thing's like half the biggest dinosaur ever. I don't think we would have won this one in real life, and I think that's being reflected here. One, two, three, he's dead. Factor one. I'm gonna have to go for two. Okay, yeah, he's gonna have five. Five might, three might be enough. I think we've lost Gaia. Yeah, we've lost Gaia. A GG. I guess say GG is if we're not facing up against robots. Um. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a break from that. <laughs> and... I think... I think that'll do it. Clognathodon can take it somewhere and we're going to hit it. <clears throat> Alright, that's a pretty good hit. Puts down a ton of damage. For some reason, it doesn't go for the attack. But whatever, you know. You were very keen on wasting your time earlier. See, I don't know why you would, you would do that. Just go for like a little one hit. It doesn't make too much sense. I mean, to be fair, my tactic is much better. You can kill me one, but besides my attack. Again, could kill me one, but decides not to, so we're just gonna... 
keep gravely wounding them. Really adamant about not attacking. I think this Prognathodon might win by accident. Do you mind? This is a cannon fodder creature. Oh, also it's the beginning of Jurassic June, everybody. And also, I'm out of school. I've been out of school for like a week. Just haven't made a video. I am officially no longer going to school because of the summer. Thank God. So now maybe I can devote a bit more time to the channel. Although I say that, yeah, I'm probably going to be just as inconsistent with my uploads. Like what happened last week, but you know. Headphone. Okay, right, so for those of you who are wondering, I connect rip off AirPods to my phone. And then I talk and then it goes. Yeah. This is the most weird setup ever. Because my phone has a screen record function. And it can actually record audio. So why does this look like a flooded aviary? I have a feeling someone just put a bunch of water in an aviary, so it's like an above ground pool. With with reptiles fighting each other. I mean I don't know, that might work. I, I, I don't know, I feel like it'd be a few engineering problems. Um Who's who's still on the fit? Okay. Oh, it's one of these. That was awful. Whoa, I don't... What? I don't get what I was just... It was in the thing. Okay, well, Lisa's not getting it, so I'm good. Unless we get, yeah, I was about to say, unless we get one of those circle things. This creature contained. I like how, I like how it's just like, ah, uh, yeah, it's just a creature containment. Even though if that thing got out, it would realistically cause so much death and destruction. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Okay. So, what we're gonna do... I cut the pug map it on, looks like they could kind of large on the sea floor. Like around the corner. Of the pug map it on. A cannon killed in two hits. Yeah, I thought he would have a block, so that's why I didn't go for it. However, he... Still a huge portion of our health, and now we know how many uh, blocks he has, which is zero. But yeah, see how the problem happened on? It looks like it's a... Like a wobby gun or a carpet shark. You can hide in a coral reef. Yeah, last is uh, yeah. Two hits. One. Two is dead. Yeah. The, the saw shark, the uncle of pieces, is very good tank, but almost zero attack. Not almost zero, but you know what I mean. Barely many. Does anyone else remember when the Aquatics were first released and how hype everyone was? 
I remember it because I was like eight. It was like the coolest thing ever. Team the Aquatics. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna buy a bunch of Tepajara. And make them really overpowered. I mean, we do have 8,000 bucks for a reason. Oh, crap. Oh, sorry about that. The game crashed. Um, so, yeah, we're going to evolve the Tapajara. Maybe this is just the episode where we just... Whenever I do make a video, it's always... We're evolving something. Stop crashing! Oh my god, dude. Like I'm raging over it crashing. It's always whenever I'm recording, it's always so crashy. Really lucky with it going all the way through. to get another one and make a level 40 here soon um yeah back to the arena okay well that being said um seeing that we have no other good pterosaurs okay these are seem to be very carnivore demanding This one's cheaper. Okay, this one's cheaper. So we're gonna go. Oh, they're they're like bonus level and still very garbage. so bizarre seeing that like blue fire man. But I don't I don't know what you could call that, but yeah, it's like a weird pheromone that like the bonus level dinosaurs get. And also like the I guess you'd say the main character dinosaurs. Because like Like Blue and Rexy, I think they're in the game and they have like this weird pheromone effect too. Guangong is taking a ton of hits from this massive gargantuan mutant. Like, look at that. No other creature would be able to survive this in real life. Well, I have no idea what he went for. No problem with shouting at your screen. But anyways, it's dead. And here comes its slightly more normal looking. I like this design better. It's less in your face and atrocious than the bony disorder. One, two, three, one. 
Oh, uh oh, oh. Oh, okay, never mind. I had factored in the block and then I forgot I factored in the block. I feel these sauropods are just getting absolutely clowned by these like very small carnivores. Like you could probably kick a Gormon and it'd die. And Dilophosaurus would be like an actual grizzly. That's like a grizzly bear bred with a Komodo dragon. I'm not expecting much from Spinosaurus. Why did you do that? Yeah, why did Spock just wasted one of its goes? Realistically, we would have lost this fight so horribly, like in real life. See, you can how massive all of these dinosaurs are. Alright. Now I'm actually curious, how many hits does it take to kill? We need to go for full on the to kill this. Back. Now here comes like the super leveled Godzilla pheromone. Argentinosaurus. So this is just a cycle of death. We're just like, oh, I'll take your guy down, or I'll take your guy down. One, two, three. One, two. Just to be safe. You gotta force you to need to knock over these, uh, these massive sauropods, it's crazy. I can make it to the max level irritator and it's like five times its actual size, but... Good lord, mate, you pump iron? <laughs> So does anyone else have the feeling that Acrocanthosaurus is just like the new mascot of the channel? Because for some reason I feel like this inclination to make it that way. Now for this one, we are just going to make it that way. Simply because... Um, we make it a bit more fair. That was quite bizarre. To be fair, he's part of our team is somewhat adapted to take down necks. People are probably gonna get mad at me because I call them long necks and sauropods. People oh, People are definitely gonna get mad at me for that. But you know what? It's fine. I have no idea what he went for. Also, no Carno dead. Yeah, I didn't expect that. 84 damage. We might lose. It's just dog on me. 
This is a huge probability that we lose. 50% chance we lose. Because we, because we either lose or we don't. All right, guys. 50-50 chance of anything ever happening in life. Because it either happens or it doesn't. Yeah, two hits. One, two, one, two. I like how Giga and Acro are very closely related, yet they have vastly different animation styles. Like, even, okay, think about this. Even though that isn't a ton of health off the acro, that percentage of health taken off of you in one hit would be so excruciatingly painful. Like, I can't be the first one who started this, but like losing 10% of your health would be horrible. Alright, 13,000 damage. I think that kills every creature in this game. 13k. I'm not sure, I think Indoraptor is able to 15,000 damage. I'm not sure. Bunch of DNA and an A. Eh, this could be worse. I'm seeing a repeating pattern here. They, they really like these overpowered... Kind of overpowered. Not really. Like high level herbivores. I don't know why I do this, but I always try to like match the creature to the combatants. Make it a pattern fair fight. So for example, I could just use the Ionic to kill the big carnivores. Hard hit air. Oh, what up? So, if anything, I feel like I use these like low level dinos more than the. I'd say low level. They're still high level, just like. No strength. He's not wanting to attack, but he's about to get slapped. If he doesn't block, he's dead. But he did block, he blocked almost the entire attack. Okay, there we go. There's Utah Raptor gun. I'm just going for 4 on 4 because I don't know what he has or doesn't have. Probably could have been with a 3. This is going to be a long video by the way guys. Two hits? Two hits, I think. I think this is a two hit kill. That's a two hit kill. Uh, I probably should be worried about that last one, because it is almost level 200. <laughs> well, I wish there was a way to level up just to be that level. Well, what if we could, like, sacrifice, like, a few low level. I have a level 40 T Rex, right? And then I have a bunch of low level T Rexes. And if I could like sacrifice them and then put it into the. I don't know why I'm saying sacrifice, it's probably the wrong word, but you get the idea, like meld them together. We need amphibians. I'm trying to escape. Oh, I hate that noise. I absolutely hate it. So we're going to turn off the audio. Because I hate that noise that, that was just playing. Um, so yeah, we're just going to listen to me talk. So, um, I think that this game is about, like, eight years old. This, this shows my lack of social skills, you know. Obama was the 44th president, guys. The 44th president, I think. Someone's going to get mad at me in the comments for that.
Is, is it still there? It is still there. So we're going to turn off the audio until we get back into the combat. Because I hate that noise. I, I genuinely don't like it. And now I'm going to force you guys to listen to it. Okay, it's still there. Um, we're just going to close up the game and come back in. Right. So anyways, we're going to get back into the battle. Um, rejoin the fray. So essentially what he's going to do, he's going to probably should have swapped to Baryon and some parts of Essentially what he's going to do, he's going to kill this Lemno Cell. Basically instantly, yes. Way too overkill, that would have sent it flying. Um, and then I can't kill this in two hits. So. I think there's a huge chance we lose. Cause yeah. So both the two kids was gonna make a backup and Baryonyx can't work. But here's the thing. I don't think Baryonyx will work. This is right, this is a good fight. One thousand damage on this What is that? This is I probably should just go out of here. So I'm going to be a turd burglar and block the floor. See, he knew I was going to do that. He knew I was going to be belligerent. Now we're just getting into a standstill. Wait, excellent. Wasted. You almost killed him. Still alive. Barely. Barely alive. This is what we packed over. Probably should have. Because this is not any content, and I also don't want to sit here forever. I'm just hoping to get it off. Come on, go for something. Here, I'm gonna pause this until. Because this is not entertaining, and I. Oh, okay. Never mind. I was gonna pause the recording and then unpause it because he actually does something. I can't do this. We don't even need Baryonyx. Unless Dilo kills us. Dilo kills There we go. And then we have the not very much needed Baryonyx to just essentially delete the value from the universe.
Interesting. So, I find it quite trippy seeing a berry on it's that big. This is funny. It's not funny, it's like, it's more unexpected. Okay. Oh, except we have no carnivores. Or anything for that matter. We're gonna have to do some 3D chess on this one, boys. And girls, I have no idea who watches my channel. Apparently like 20 people. For some reason. Alright, he's gonna come in. And take two more hits. This is an opportunity. Free win. Let's go. Bang. I count this as like the only not oversized creature. I mean, yeah, this, this looks like a Godzilla monster. This, this Bonita Sora, this looks, this is the devil right here. I mean, as if this is like a resurrected monster that's been mutated and given steroids and legalized nuclear bombs. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go for the exact same team. <laughs> Basically. Except Trike is better. Because even though it's a 3 attack difference, this is like a 30, 30, 40 extra health. We both look absolutely disgusting. We both look like weapons when we take too much steroids. Don't take steroids. Guys, don't do that. Yeah, I'm just being really adverse to like hitting me. And this is probably what would happen if you put two giant herbivores in a cage. They probably wouldn't fight each other. They'd just do this. Very interesting tactic. Do you're dead, factor four, lock, two reserve. There we go. And now we're fighting against ourselves. Another roided out salamander monster. I know what he's trying to do, I'm just gonna go for it. See, yeah, that's where we go. There we go. The Kool-Aid monster. No, wait, no, Kulasukas is Kool-Aid, but that still looks like a Kool-Aid monster. I hate how it's doing the thing again. Who's the person running the computer code that allowed that to happen? What's this? Oh my god, I hate this god awful noise. We'll be back with you shortly. The noise is kind of sort of fixed. And the game is glitched. There we go. Mm. No, we need pterosaurs. It is very risky. 
but I need to conserve my territory. I'm dying. Alright, I know that seems dumb, but he's gonna have to go for two hits to kill us. Yeah, it doesn't matter if we run it. Okay, we won. Yeah, easiest, easy, actually pretty easy fight. I bet the Limno Celis disagrees because he got wrecked, but you know, it's fine. All of that for just some food. It's gonna go down the hatchet instantly. The hatchet? What? It's not. Don't you guys just love this game? So I don't like how Aerial Type is now our finisher. I think he's gonna be really belligerent here and go for a big hit. Yeah. Probably could have done without wasting that reserve. But... Soon, you know, this packy likes killing pterosaurs. We can survive one hit. Sure, go for that. That's what helps you sleep at night. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, hang on, we can win, hang on. Because he's just going to keep swapping out his creatures, and they're just going to keep getting into it. We're laying the groundwork, ladies and gentlemen. Swap out, swap out, swap out. Oh. Okay, I mean... One, two... He's dead, factor one. I don't think we can survive with two hits. Yeah, we're not winning. It's okay, I'll just do it at a later time off camera. Oh wait, there is no, there's no other battle. So we're gonna finish this off on a high note. On a high note, I mean we're just gonna demolish this entire team with barely any resistance. As I expected. Oh wait, no, Irritator might put up some when you put in a fight. It's because it is a con. Mm, on the on the offensive. I don't know why I had to say its name, we can all read, we know what it is. I have a sneaking suspicion of trying to 
Which means strange, because it's just a the size difference is insane. Yeah, like that would kill. That would kill the state game in instantly. But now. And there's a tiny tail whip. Bah! Dead. Here comes a hybrid monster. With its gross hybrid monster noises and its gross. I can't think of anything else. It probably has like some kind of disease, like the plague of madness. For anyone who watched Primal, if you haven't watched Primal, y'all need to watch Primal. Very good show. I think that's gonna end today's video. Um. If you enjoyed it, uh, leave a like, subscribe, uh, just say something in the comments. I like responding to y'all. Um, and have a nice day.